Hello Code Gurus, welcome back. So as a part of this video tutorial, we will go ahead and see how to create a responsive row layout using a Quasar framework. So what do you mean by responsive row? So if you take a prototype, we have a section called as a latest lesson section inside our body. So now if you see when we, when we view this website on our desktop layout, we have a single row and three columns. Similarly, the same website is viewed on our mobile application, then it has to adapt as single column and three rows or multiple rows. So this ability, we call it as responsive row layout inside our Quasa framework, which we will be implementing as a part of this video tutorial. All right then, let's proceed to our editor. As per a prototype in our previous video tutorial, we have implemented a responsive header banner. Now, let, before we proceed further, let's go to our prototype and have a quick uh, understanding of how we need to go ahead and arrange the components. So if you see over here, we are as a part of this video tutorial, we said we will be constructing this latest lesson section, right? So now this latest section is actually arranged in two different rows. This latest lesson and one more thing is your uh, videos which are displayed over here as a part of a different row. However, if you see your video rows section is actually arranged again in turn in three different columns. So that means totally we need two different rows and one row with three different columns. Now let's proceed to our IDE. So now over here as discussed over there, uh, as discussed in our prototype, let's create two divs or let's create two rows first. So how do we create rows over here? All you have to go ahead and say call so class is equal to row so this will go ahead and create it as a row now similarly let's go ahead and create one more row so I'll just copy and paste this and so we have created two different rows as uh, we have planned in our slicing video of our prototype so now what is the next second next so now what is the next section we will go ahead and create a div over here and we will be writing up latest lessons as a part of this guy now we will save this i have already started running our web server so let's proceed to our browser and look at the uh, the layout over here so now over here you could see the latest lessons but it is not quite how it looks inside our uh, prototype right so now let's go back to our ide we need to apply some styles so now let's proceed and say text has h5 and I want even uh, so just let's see how this text looks on our web page so now over here it is a bit bigger that's good now I want it to be a bit bolder so how do we go ahead and do it again if you remember so there is a separate uh, predefined class from our quasar called as text hyphen bold just save that now if you go back and see so we got that latest lessons over here so I'll just correct that as latest lessons rather than lesson and save it. Now if you see over here, one important issue is this latest lessons is actually sticking to the leftmost of our screen. So I would like to give it, give some sort of uh, spacing over there or padding over there. So again, if you remember in our previous video tutorial, there are pre-existing uh, styles inside our Quasar which we will be using. So if you I have missed that section I would recommend to go back to that video tutorial and look at that section where we have discussed that so I'll be pasting the link to that video in our description section so now we need to apply some padding so here I'll just go ahead and say apply some padding so maybe on your right side as well as as of now there is nothing on the left side but uh, if you want to apply both padding on your right and left we have something called as X so now maybe let's start with SM and see how that uh, padding looks like somewhat better right or maybe if you want to align it with our logo maybe you can make it to uh, medium so now if you go back so it somewhat aligns with our logo everything is fine but again if you see this latest lesson is sticking to the top of our header banner right again I would like to give some sort of padding over there uh, so that uh, it looks pretty decent so I'll just go back to our ID all I need to say is padding on top and I'll just maintain the same MD over here and I'll just go back 
So now over here you could see pretty much literally we achieved what we wanted. So if, if you feel this uh, gap is a bit more, you can always go ahead and reduce it to SM. So now you could see it's it somewhat aligns pretty neatly. Now let's go ahead and create our card section. So now in order to do that, let's proceed further to our uh, Quasar website. So now how do you create a card? So go to your Docs section. On the top right side, you just say it as like card. So here I'll just go ahead and say it as like maybe I want to view the basic usage of the card. So now let's go ahead and see do we have any uh, existing thing or not. So now if you see over here, card with video is the one which we were looking and looks like we already have that. So what we will do is I'll just open this layout and copy this uh, entire div section which is available over here and go back to our ID. So now over here as a part of our row, so let's try pasting uh, and see how it looks like in first, uh, in first place. So if you see, go back to our website, it somewhat looks pretty good. But again, how many videos we need? We need three videos to be uh, displayed over here. So now in order to arrange that, what I will be recommending is first let's go ahead and enclose this guy as a part of one column. So now over here, I'll just simply say it as like close this div and class as call. So now again, I'll just cut this div and paste it at the end so that everything aligns. So now uh, in, in real time, what, what we do is uh, we try to put this entire row or this entire column section in a loop and try to get, uh, replace all the information like this YouTube link and description and title. Uh, in, 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 in a dynamic way. For time being, we will be doing that thing in our future video tutorials, but not now. So as of now, what I'll be doing is I'll copying, I'll be copying this column section three times in order to replicate our, uh, our uh, looping of the uh, uh, UI. So here I'll just go back and refresh. So now if you see, it exactly looks how it is needed by, by our website by a prototype. So now over here, let's see if I, what's happening over here is the problem is when I try to resize my screen, it has to go ahead and change itself as a single uh, column and multiple rows rather than a single column, uh, sorry, rather than a single row and three columns, right? So now how do we achieve this? Now let's go back to our Quasar website documentation under styles, oh sorry, it's, it's under the layouts. So now there is a section called as layouts. Let's go to that layout. And under that layout, we have something called as grid row. So now over here, we are looking for the responsive classes, right? So now over here, if you see, there is a section called as stacks, stack to horizontal. What does that mean? So look at this row. This is a row which we are looking for. So now I just resize my screen. Those three uh, columns have become as one column and a single row has become as three rows. So this is the exact behavior which we are expecting in our uh, web page. So now I'll just expand this. So now if you observe, they have created exactly the same row like how we have created, but in case of column, they have created, a, a, they have given a different parameter. So now if you see over here, if you want to do anything uh, which is responsive, it has to go with a combination of these two uh, rows. So this call hyphen 12, 12 is nothing but the size of the uh, column which you want to maintain and the call hyphen MD is the responsiveness which it gets. So now what I'll do is I'll just copy this uh, 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 class name, go back to our IDE so rather than just calling it as call, just replace it with those tags which we have copied and save it. Now let's go back to our web page, reload our page and see how it looks like. So now if you see over here, we have uh, three, three different video tutorials and uh, I'll just go ahead and replace it. So now here you could see we have achieved exactly the same thing what we needed. So now if you see over here, so when it when you are viewing it in your desktop mode, it is 
looking like as if it is a single row and three columns. Now I'm changing it to your mobile mode. It is automatically changing to a single column and multiple rows. So with this is how we go, we, we have achieved a responsive uh, layout or responsive row layout inside our web page using our Quasar framework. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial. If yes, please do not forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. And also please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon in order to get instant notifications from our channel. We are also available on Twitter. Please do follow us on Twitter at codeguru underscore io and we are also available on Facebook and please do follow us on Facebook at codeguru.io. Thank you.